folk religion, alongside popular religion and vernacular religion, are terms used within religious studies and folkloristics to describe various forms and expressions of religion that are deemed distinct from the official doctrines and practices of organized religion. The precise definition of folk religion varies among scholars. Sometimes also termed popular belief, it consists of ethnic or regional religious customs under the umbrella of a religion, but outside of official doctrine and practices. The term folk religion is generally held to encompass two related but separate subjects. The first is the religious dimension of folk culture, or the folk cultural dimensions of religion. The second refers to the study of syncretisms between two cultures with different stages of formal expression, such as the melange of African folk beliefs and Roman Catholicism that led to the development of Vaudan and Santeria, and similar mixtures of formal religions with folk cultures. Chinese folk religion, folk Christianity, folk Hinduism, and folk Islam are examples of folk religion associated with major religions. The term is also used, especially by the clergy of the faiths involved, to describe the desire of people who otherwise infrequently attend religious worship, do not belong to a church or similar religious society, and who have not made a formal profession of faith in a particular creed, to have religious weddings or funerals, or, among Christians, to have their children baptized. In the concise Oxford Dictionary of World Religions, John Boker characterized folk religion as either religion which occurs in small, local communities which does not adhere to the norms of large systems or the appropriation of religious beliefs and practices at a popular level. Don Yoder argued that there were five separate ways of defining folk religion. The first was a perspective rooted in a cultural evolutionary framework which understood folk religion as representing the survivals of older forms of religion, in this, it would constitute the survivals, in an official religious context, of beliefs and behavior inherited from earlier stages of the culture's development. This definition would view folk religion in Catholic Europe as the survivals of pre-Christian religion and the folk religion in Protestant Europe as the survivals of medieval Catholicism. The second definition identified by Yoder was the view that folk religion represented the mixture of an official religion with forms of ethnic religion. This was employed to explain the place of folk religion in the syncretic belief systems of the Americas, where Christianity had blended with the religions of indigenous American and African communities. Yoder's third religion was that often employed within folkloristics, which held that folk religion was the interaction of belief, ritual, custom, and mythology in traditional societies, representing that which was often pejoratively characterized as superstition. The fourth definition provided by Yoder stated that folk religion represented the folk interpretation and expression of religion. Noting that this definition would not encompass beliefs that were largely unconnected from organized religion, such as in witchcraft, he therefore altered this definition by including the concept of folk religiosity thereby defining folk religion as the deposit in culture of folk religiosity, the full range of folk attitudes to religion. His fifth and final definition represented a practical working definition that combined elements from these various other definitions. Thus, he summarized folk religion as the totality of all those views and practices of religion that exist among the people apart from and alongside the strictly theological and liturgical forms of the official religion. Yoder described folk religion as existing in a complex society in relation to and in tension with the organized religions of that society. Its relatively unorganized character differentiates it from organized religion. Alternately, the sociologist of religion Matthias Sigvar rule defined folk religion as the relatively unreflected aspect of ordinary practices and beliefs that are oriented towards, or productive of, something beyond the immediate here and now, everyday transcendence. Yoder noted that one problem with the use of the term folk religion was that it did not fit into the work of those scholars who used the term religion in reference solely to organized religion. He highlighted the example of the prominent sociologist of religion Emil Durkheim, who insisted that religion was organized in order to contrast it with magic. 
Yoder noted that scholars adopting these perspectives often prefer the term folk belief over folk religion. A second problem with the use of folk religion that Yoder highlighted was that some scholars, particularly those operating in the sociology of religion, used the term as a synonym for ethnic religion which is alternately known as national religion or tribal religion, meaning a religion closely tied to a particular ethnic or national group and is thus contrasted with a universal religion which cuts across ethnic and national boundaries. Among the scholars to have adopted this use of terminology are E. Wilberbach. The folklorist Leonard Norman Premiano argued that the use of folk religion, as well as related terms like popular religion and unofficial religion, by scholars, does an extreme disservice to the forms of religiosity that scholarship is examining, because, in his opinion, such terms are residualistic, derogatory. He argued that using such terminology implies that there is a pure element to religion which is in some way transformed, even contaminated, by its exposure to human communities. As a corrective, he suggested that scholars use vernacular religion as an alternative. Defining this term, Premiano stated that vernacular religion is, by definition, religion as it is lived, as human beings encounter, understand, interpret, and practice it. Since religion inherently involves interpretation, it is impossible for the religion of an individual not to be vernacular. Kapala was critical of this approach, deeming it mistaken and arguing that switching from folk religion to vernacular religion results in the scholar picking up a different selection of things from the world. He cautioned that both terms were ideological and semantic load and warned scholars to pay attention to the associations that each word had 